Today we're going to build a classic daily TPO and we're going to start off with the <coughs> default um, template. So we've got a fixed volume on the left and the only indicator we have at the moment is this depth of market bars which you can see over here on the right. So let's start by adding the TPO and profile and let's set it up. So we're going to have a profile over TPO and we're going to have a daily period and that's the standard times that the data is taken from. Um, let's extend the lines and the profile type is going to be a volume. We'll leave the extended lines, auto proportion and so on. And I'm going to change a few of these colors. Now you can fiddle around with these colors and just sort of see what you like. You can see my um, TPO of a profile is ready taking shape. Um, <clears throat> usually leave the bid and ask as red and green. Um, transparency is 10. I always use the um, uh, text color as white. And you can either have the um, profile as solid or you can put border. You can see the difference over there. That's border. Whatever you like, I'm going to leave it as solid. Um, then we're going to show the maximum area. I mean the maximum level. And that is actually the VPOC. Uh, that's what they call it in this particular program. They call it the maximum level. But it's actually the volume point of control. So let's put that in. So you can see how I've set up my VPOC. You could um, extend it if you want to. Extend the line. It extends to the right. I'm not going to do that. We could show the value. You can see the value over there. Chart gets a bit cluttered. We can show the date of it over there. So I'm going to leave those both blank. Right, let's set up, set up the um, profile, the volume value area. So we can either show the value area, you can see it there, let's leave that. We can extend it. Uh, drawing mode, I'm going to leave in area. Um, uh, the color you can set up as you like. I'm just going to put the transparency up to 10. Uh, I always like the text color to be blue. And those are the labels that I want. Value area high and value area low. Um, so you can see that the time profile is at the top and the volume profile is at the bottom. If you want to separate them, you can. That's the time and that's the volume. But then the graph gets a little bit messy. So long as you know that it's there, everything will be okay. Under the TPO, let's leave the, the lettering as is. Where prices per tick will be one. We'll mark the letters in yellow and each one will be a different color. Here, the default is six counts. I, I wanted one color. So let's actually choose a color. That's a nice color. And let's see what color that is. Yeah, that looks really good. And I'm happy with that. Okay, let's do the TPOC. So we want to show it. I've made it a nice yellow so that you can see it. You could extend it right across, but it'll be too clutter cluttery. I'll leave the text light blue just so we can differentiate it be between VPOC and TPOC. And I've put in what I want the label to be, which is TPOC. The TPO value area I've hidden, so it actually doesn't matter what you put in here. I've got other templates where I can look at that, and it's very close to the volume value area, which we are showing. Okay, as far as single prints go, I'd like to show them. I'd like to extend the line, so we can see there's a single print. Uh, texts defaults to black, because most people, or the default is a white background, but we will make it white i like to show the initial balance it's very unobtrusive if we leave it on a thin width of five the candle bars i'm going to leave alone 
the cumulative values over here, you could move them, say, to the top right. But let's, there it is over there. So let's, um, let's leave it at the bottom right. And then let's leave everything else in the default mode. So that's what our template is going to look like. Uh, just one other thing, make sure you're getting enough data. If this is set to one day, might be a problem. Um, so 15 days is not a bad time. The, the more days you put in, the longer it's going to take to load. And then just to show you, um, uh, let's just separate the two. And then you can see the volume point of control and the time point of control. And you can see them separated completely. Uh, I'm going to leave it as profile over TPO. In fact, I don't actually like this, so let's change it. And the way to change it is to change from area mode to line mode. And then you can see the whole profile over there. All right, so let's save this profile, um, uh, this template. Um, settings. And I've actually called it a classic daily TPO. So let's add it and, sorry, let's save it. It says, do I want to overwrite it? Yes. Now, this whole template is saved as is. And I'm also going to favorite it so I can easily get to it. So in this one over here, you can see the TPOC is much higher than the VPOC, although it's very close in volume which one should be the v, VPOC and which one should be the TPOC. So um, it could go either way and uh, uh, you can just assess each one individually. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a weekly one. And that should only take a few seconds. So let's do that. Uh, <clears throat> go here. All we need to do is to change this to weekly. Okay. And then maybe what we need to do here is also give it more data because it's weekly. So let's make it 60 days. And we'll apply that. And then it'll download all the data. Let's save this uh, weekly as a template. So we can add this and then we can say, and we save it as that. There it is. And now that's done. Let's favorite that so we can get to it easily. And now it'll be here in the classic weekly TPO. Okay, I hope you learned something and that's the end of this video and I, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.